Just a Time brief to get respite. Going. What have you done? What have you done to me? dare you interfere. You are like the digits of a hand. It is for you to act, not to decide. You serve the absolute. You serve me. Bow, you dog. Prison. You've had it all this time, you worm. You will bow before me. And if you will not bow, you will break. You. How good it is to see you again, Ketherick. At last, you found a godmaster that suits you, it seems. Halen, the thief. You stole Isabel from me, and now you think you'll take my life in the bargain? You dare to speak her name? After your crimes innumerable, you would evoke her before me! Enough. This ends here and now. At last. He will crumble at the power of your touch. Give him all you have. The gods fight at our side! Close ranks.
attack, soldiers! Attack, soldiers!
on my feet. Enough. My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. came from below. We need to find out where it took Catherick. Better make camp soon. Might be a while before there's another chance to rest. dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth.
he gives in and surrenders his find to you. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. This is an illithid colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. All of this sitting beneath moonrise. For how long? And how deep does it go? Tread carefully. We are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. Descend, assemble. They're not attacking. Seems they think we're allies. Mind flayers and civilians, side by side. This must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap. Brine pools, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. That pod? Is that Mizora inside? By Grazit's cock, it's about time you came! Oh, perish the thought! Every word was nothing less than true. Now, enough sniffing around and get me out of this thing. Mizora's life rests in your hands. Perhaps you could end Will's pact here and now. an old incantation from a children's story said to void a devil's contract Abbe Diabole et nunquam ready <laughs> I'll 
be damned. You want to free the pup from his pact. And you thought that idiotic display would do it. <laughs> oh, bravo. Fine, I'll play your game. But I amend the pact. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. Now, open the pod. Your eyes turn to the control panel next to the pod. It has two devices marked with a lithid symbols. The controls are open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. The symbol's meaning comes into focus. Annihilate. You decipher the symbol. It's an illithid sigil, meaning unleash. Good work. I'd give you a gold star, but I'm fresh out. As for the pact... <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. If the soul binder consents to separation, she will release the soul bearer from all obligation within six months. <sighs> You're a disgusting little shit. You know that, Mizora. Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you.
dead serious. Don't let the smile fool you. Right. I'm out of here. I need a long bath. I'll leave you to your very serious business. But don't you fret. If you survive this place, I'll find you. The pup will be needing me. Count on it. Oh, and ask Will how we met. I've loosened his tongue. It's real cracker of a tale. <laughs> Ta-ta. Tadpoles in this brine pool. Let's go. Device releases a stream of fragmented memories and emotions, all that remains of the pod inhabitant's former self. Delirium, mania, laughter. <laughs> Your tadpole forms a telepathic connection with the device, and a chorus of static energy fills your mind. If but there are others in the pods. Those not yet infected, not yet a lithid, terrified, 
desperate to escape. The device is open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. is gonna fall.
I didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. I owe you an explanation. Much more than that. But first... The others, the ambush, tell me they survived. I didn't think I was going to make it. Thank you. Finish what you came here to do. I dare to. Attention! Feel that one later. Never a dull moment.
General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. for this.
I'll feel that one later. murmur the presence in your mind builds to a roar. we've found it the absolute is behind this door You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I've played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue, true soul, flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. <sighs> so you haven't lost your edge. But you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city and we expect you to follow army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Bane!
The Testament of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Ravenguard. The Absolute. Who preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out.
The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned, her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Yes. Join the army of the dead, true soul. Witness Lord Merkel's glory.
Kill me. I am eternal. Merkel, Lord of Bones, I am here. I am ready. I am yours.
Well, fuck. You were a face to match yourself.
life to my life. Sustain me, please.
Death cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You... You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel! My sword. My fealty. Do what you must. Then we fly this foul place. The Chosen of Merkel is dead. Permanently this time. Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To mar the crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. I believe you fought and defeated an avatar of Merkel, the god of necromancy. A remarkable feat. Ketherick was Merkel's chosen. I know Lord Enver Gortash, an arms dealer and a slaver. He is a worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Which means, the Absolute is a front for the Gods of Death, and our enemies are chosen of the Dead Three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an Elder Brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. We prepare for the fight of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The Army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, 
An elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance.
Aelin! Isabel! My love! You were dead! I saw your body! I'm here. And... and so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? We look forward to it. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. Be gone! I must admire Isabel's fulsome beauty. Sorry. The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under... There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. I shall ask yet again, do illithids possess souls? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. No. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness. Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, the Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder.
gods be damned. With that parasite in his brain, father could wreak untold havoc in the Absolute's name. Should Baldur's Gate fall to the Absolute, every one of the coast cities will be ripe for the plucking. We're not just fighting for our cure. We're fighting for my father. We're fighting for the Gate. We're fighting for all of Faerun. Worms Rock Fortress. All travelers to Baldur's Gate flow through it. It serves as headquarters for the Flaming Fist and their commander, my father. The Absolute's armies on the march. Gods forbid a tadpole Grand Duke throw open the gates for them. Orin, I'd never heard tell of, but Gortash I know, or know of more precisely. A self-styled strategic advisor to Baldur's Gate's peers. A bit player with dreams of a leading role, the way father told it. He had no use for Gortash, and even less for his advice. I don't remember much beyond that. But where these chosen are concerned, I have a suspicion we're about to know more than we'd like. Yes, but first a question. If your home were under siege, what would you sacrifice to save it? It is. And I did. I was 17. Father, older Raven Guard, had just been named a Grand Duke and was called away to Elterel to help settle a dispute. That's when the Cult of the Dragon made its move. The Cult of the Dragon? A fractured religion. Some believers hold that undead dragons will inherit the world. Others worship the dragon goddess Tiamat and intend to summon her to Faerun. To conjure the dragon queen and lay waste to Baldur's Gate. A ten day after father left, I heard a whisper as I slept. Duskhawk Hill, the queen of chaos awakens go alone. I grabbed a rapier and set out. There wasn't a cloud in the sky, yet not a single star was shining. There they were, gathered at the foot of the hill. Your head tingles. Will wants to show you what happened. In the looming shadow of the mount, five groups of five figures each encircle a lofty totem. Atop each totem, a dragon's head is carved, and a massive orb held in its mouth. The cultists chant, first softly, then crying to the starless sky. There is a crack of thunder, a gust of wind, and a dragon's white head appears in the storm. As the maelstrom howls, Mizora's lips press to your ear. She will destroy Baldur's Gate. Grant me your soul and I will give you the power to save it, she whispers. She read the terms while two devils stood witness. And I said yes. One soul for one city. She didn't. She came on order of her mistress, Zariel. Tiamat made a play for power. Zariel had other plans. That was the most Mazora's ever said. All that mattered was that she got her prize. Another pet added to her warlock menagerie. I had Mazora at my side and the archdevil Zariel guided our hands that day. I burned with the fires of Avernus and oozed the rot of Dis. The cultists choked on our poisons and burned from our flames. And when we were done, all that remained were five grayed orbs atop a pile of ash. My soul was bound and my lips were sealed. It is the one scar I ever bore of it. Mizora replaced it with a sending stone, 
She uses it to track my location and speak from a distance. I could flee to the spine of the world or the depths of the lower dark and still never shake her. He returned to an unsuspecting city and a wayward son with a smirking devil at his side. I tried to tell him the truth, but my mouth couldn't form the words. I'd led him to the battlefield, but Mazora had swept it clean. I showed him my stone eye, but he only turned away. After, he said only one word. Go. So I did. I don't know that it was brave. I just know that it was right. I understand. It said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck, not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? <laughs> it's because you know the heart lurking under the horns. The people will see a curiosity, maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. No, never. He did the only thing he could. In his eyes, I invited a devil into our midst. I was a fool at best, a traitor at worst and Grand Duke Ravenguard suffers neither. More than you know. The better question is, did he ever miss me? If he did, he missed the Will Ravenguard he once knew, not the hell-touched warlock he returned to. I think that unknowable powers come with unknowable consequences. I can't say I'm not curious. But once you've taken a lithid by the talon, there's no telling how deep into the abyss it might drag you. Still, I am the Frontier's avowed protector. New dangers require new skills to vanquish them. If the tadpole must be my curse, then let the pa Copper for your thoughts. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Ketherick Thorn, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. My mate, most high. Darling Isabel is safe and well. Safe and well and return to my embrace. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one.
We are a powerful party indeed. Faerun itself trembles at our touch. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. I am pleased to hear it. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn, father of my one and only love, enslaver of Dame Aelin. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn never did trust me, even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel, by her love for me. When she died, curse the day, the hour, we each of us mourned bitterly. But Ketherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell. Claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Ketherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead, and we, we live! I can't believe it. I can't believe Aelin is here. And my father. I heard what happened. What he'd become by killing him. You set him free. You set Aelin free. And me. A great deal. But still, some of the details elude me. Catherick Thorm is was my father he raised me to serve saluna as my mother rest her soul had wished he was everything to me all my life when an emissary of saluna came to our little town we were elated dame aelin daughter of the moon maiden herself tell me do you believe in love at first sight That's exactly it. And I tell you, I took one look at her and I just knew she was it. Lucky for me, she felt the same way. But my father was skeptical. Aelin is immortal, after all. I understand it's strange. There's an imbalance between us, certainly. But I suppose loving Aelin felt the same as loving myself. It was natural. Then... And... This is where I still need answers. I died. I'm not sure how, why, but all was black, black, black. Next I knew I was being jolted awake. I smelled musty air, I saw shadows. And then my father's face. So changed. So hideously warped. I didn't know that then, but I could see the change in him. He told me we'd be together now, said that Aelin was dead. I couldn't speak, could only run. I found last light within the shadows, made a shelter there, prayed my father wouldn't find me. By the time Jahira came, I'd pieced together just enough to know I'd been dead a hundred years. 
that my father was the source of the horrors plaguing this land, uh, my home. I couldn't tell her who I was. I had to protect them, and myself, no matter what. It's all out in the open now, and with my father dead, I have nothing to fear. Except for Aelin. She needs healing, rest. I'm grateful for your help, your friendship. I hope we won't intrude on your hospitality too long, but I'm grateful for a safe place to, well, just to be. Don't want them worrying. Then I'll teach you to conjure those vines. Oh, Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bainite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. Can't get away with what he's done to me, to us. He won't get away with it. I can feel it. The engine. It's getting hotter, louder. It's going to blow if we don't find another way to fix it. You know, Zariel may have put the fucking thing in, but Gortash gave her the go ahead. You expect this shit from devils, but not from the people you care about. Let's get to the city. Got business there I'm highly fucking keen to attend to. Soldier. Where's Shadowheart? I think she'll want a word. Where's Shadowheart? I think she'll want a word. It is time we spoke about your heritage. 
There's a debt I must repay. You claim to know something about me. You knew about the wolves. Tell me everything. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. Shah's embrace is something that was forced upon you. It is not your true nature. That can't be. I was always loyal to Shah. Until you weren't. Do you think it was but a brief lapse? A moment of madness? No. I think you finally listened to your heart. When you freed me from the Shadowfell, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain, his inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others someplace distant. Let me help you remember, so there will be no doubt. A memory appears at the forefront of your mind. <laughs> Wolf. That elf. Who was he? You already know who he is. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? He is your father. And he lives still. As does your mother. I felt them. Bound to you. That can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young, impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman, one who knows what must be done. I have to find my parents. You will have to face your abductors in their very lair, in Baldur's Gate. There is one more way in which I can help you. You have been forewarned, and now you shall be forearmed. You will remember this spear, no doubt. It was to be the instrument of my death. Now, it will become a parting gift in exchange for my life. I thought that was lost in the Shadowfell. How do you have it? Shar is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. I felt this spear call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will need it. But what you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. A debt repaid. You gave me my life back. Now go and claim your own. There must be more you can tell me. Your mind is a deep, dark wood. There are dead ends, shadowy corners, lurking threats. I was lucky to be able to glean as much as I did. Besides, there are more hardships ahead. Knowing too much may cause you to despair, while a little ignorance may shield you. One last thing. Your parents have been in the hands of Shah's followers for some 40 years. It must take tremendous will for mortals to hold out that long. See that their sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last.
What's the story? looking. Things have stayed interesting. Can I touch 
your face? No. I've been lied to. My parents are alive, and I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me? We'd better press on for now. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You will see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Fine. What's on your mind? I don't think I've ever had a confidant quite like you. And if I have, I can't remember them. After all, what I shared with you about my past about being saved from the wolf. That is not something I would normally even dream of sharing. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. My mate, blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Listen to this. My darling Isabel says we will stay allied at your side. Prep, do I not? There can be no doubt. I am of her. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. As her fa when he turned to wreck, he and his. I was. But lo, the. We leave the heart of the Absolute alive, thanks to you. You did well to defeat Catherine.
Looks like the Dryder's caravan came from here. No more giant spides on the prowl, thanks to us. We don't have time to waste retreading old ground. The power of the Chosen is growing. We must press on in pursuit. You don't understand. An army of true souls marches on the city. If you do not do the same, the Elder... Bra We don't have time to... We must press on. You would have done better to... I thought you trusted me. I was... Your stomach drops. Your chest constricts. Your thoughts begin to splinter. You are found. Now you hear me. Now you yield! We leave the heart of the Absolute. You did well to defeat Kev. There are many more battles ahead, and they will not be so. You have the makings of a leader, but if we are to succeed, we will need a... Even if the buildings are demolished, there are... Baldur's Gate may not know it yet. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns together. We will...
Don't call the doctor yet. I've got potions, sutures. I know I can do this. Oh, you're a patient. This is the children's ward. Triage is back that way. That body she's working on, that's Arabella's father. Not dead, merely medicated to ease the pain. I knew these hands would not fail me. The patient is sure to recover. Not much left now, but you're welcome to look. Now, if you'll excuse to see the doctor? Are we poorly? Are we desperately poorly? Oh, not so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line, and you will be seen. Yes, yes. But all must wait. The doctor's hands are full. Join the line. You will be seen. Oh, an answer to our prayers. Down to the theater. Be swift. Be saved. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe. For the Scalpel, indeed, is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister. Show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient's sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. 
You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. Behold, sisters, the very face of ignorance. One who mistakes tenderness for torture. Go on, acquaint the face of ignorance with the true object of our studies. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. What the fuck is this loon talking about? See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. But you, look how the sucker of Shah eludes you. See how painfully present you remain. We do not wish to see you suffer so. Let us cure you. blades are bloodied and dull. Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Their incisions are, as yet, still streaked with imprecision. That much, I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. There is misdirection in your words. You seek to linger in your sickness. Sisters, what say we to such wretches? The scalpel soothes, comes in its song. We would hear your melody of mercy.
needs the my hand.
Master Surgeon's will is my honor. Step forward.
I've got it.
I am not a skeleton. I am neither dead nor undead, neither alive. <laughs> Don't call Bo. That body she's working on. That's Arab. Not dead. Merely medicated. To ease the pain. You're untrained. Now I must ask you to step away. I'll do better. And the patients will be better. I will sell you what I can. Once I've stabilized the patient. Not 
so well. But well enough to wait. Join the line. Join the line. You will be seen. Down to... Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this...
called the Leech for Training.
Breathe deep and move.
swift as my feet can carry me.
feel that one later. The doctor is absent today. Shadow curse still taints the land. Perhaps we could have lifted it had we tried. Looks like an army marched through here.
fish. Healing. <laughs> 
Sí, sí. 